Kuro. He hopes these words can topple Venezuela's government. Opposition leader Juan Guaido swore himself in as interim president as thousands cheered him on. The aim is ending this usurpation and this treasonous government and holding free elections. If this happens, then let God and let the nation reward us. And if not, then let them demand otherwise. Guaido's declaration comes as hundreds of thousands rallied across Venezuela to support the opposition. They call President Maduro's government illegitimate and blame him for their country's economic collapse. But as their protests continued, deadly violence spread. Several demonstrators have been reported killed amid clashes with police. While authorities clamp down on protesters, Venezuela's opposition is getting fresh support elsewhere. President Trump joined a growing list of leaders who say they recognize Juan Guaido as Venezuela's interim president. Trump tweeted the announcement and wrote, Venezuelans have spoken out against Maduro and his regime and demanded freedom and the rule of law. President Maduro has hit back by vowing to cut all ties with Washington. He told all U.S. diplomatic staff to leave the country within 72 hours, a demand the White House rejects. Out of Venezuela they go. Enough interventionism. There is dignity here. And here, there are people to defend this land. But the opposition says they have the claim to defending the country from the Maduro government. Juan Guaido says he intends to act as interim president only until new and fair elections can be held. Okay, where is this headed? Eduardo Mendez from DW Latin America joins us in the studio this morning. Good morning, Eduardo. Good morning. Uh, what can you tell us about Juan Guaido, uh, the, the opposition leader, and how much public support does he have? Well, Juan Guaido is the newest face, the freshest face in a long row uh, of opposition leaders that are in prison or uh, that had to leave the country. Um, and he's uh, the new hope, the clear new face of, of hope for Venezuelans. Um, and um, I say the, the freshest, but he also has shifted a bit uh, uh, the rhetoric of how uh, the opposition, uh, opposition is presenting itself in Venezuela, um, especially because he is, um, has a more calm way uh, to transmit his message. He uh, is not so uh, pushing forward like uh, former opposition's uh, le leader did. And so he's trying to, uh, to get some sort of dialogue, though he's very insistent in his message and trying to, uh, you know, get uh, this dictatorship uh, out of, of commanding Venezuela. Okay, and he has support, of course. Uh, President Trump has backed him. Um, we have a platform of regional states, and there's the Lena Group, the Lima Group as well, throwing their weight uh, behind Guaido. This is the Foreign Minister of Canada, part of that group, Christia Freeland. Let's have a listen to what she's saying. Uh, so let me say on behalf of Canada that we recognize and express our full support for the interim presidency of Venezuela assumed by the president of the National Assembly, Juan Guaido, in compliance with the Constitution of Venezuela. And we, the members of the Lima Group, are preparing a fuller written statement, which we hope will come out very soon. It's an important day for Venezuela, and I'm grateful for the solidarity of the Lima Group in speaking out on this. Eduardo, will this regional solidarity benefit Juan Guaido? Well, it's regional solidarity, but it's not complete solidarity in the region because you have important states like uh, Mexico or Cuba or Uruguay who are not supporting uh, Juan Guaido and, and this uh, opposition movement. And also, there is more uh, to, to this in the region. I mean, on the one hand, you have the U.S. saying, yeah, we're fully supporting him, but uh, the U.S. are, are one important buyer of Venezuelan oil. Uh, so um, I think uh, we have to uh, observe uh, very carefully what uh, other powers are doing, like China, Russia, who have uh, 
mm. very strong interests in Venezuela. So it's, it's not that clear. I mean, in the regional support, what does it mean? And um, more than, than diplomatic uh, uh, intentions, uh, there's not more to that until now. And even Europe is playing a very weak role. Um, if, if, if I have to put it clearly, they're chickening a little bit uh, mm. just with, with yeah, statements. But you have people dying right now at this moment. Uh, the Venezuelan government is killing people protesting, uh, uh, defending democracy that is not more existent in Venezuela. When you have, you have to put a clear label on Maduro. Maduro is a dictator. The elections of, two, of last year were not fair and were uh, not transparent. And that's what, why Juan Guaidó uh, claimed himself, uh, according to the constitution of Venezuela, as a president. So you have a dictator and you have a very weak uh, uh, international community trying to or claiming that they are helping, but the U.S. is the best example, you know, okay. still making business. Okay, in a lot of ways, uh, the country's military is the real power broker right now. They're, they're backing Maduro, but there has been a revolt by the National Guard this week. Um, are significant elements of the military prepared to back Juan Guaido? Uh, sure, the military is always in, 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 su in such a constellation uh, a key issue. Uh, and we have uh, we had on Monday this small revolt. Um, if I have to put it very clear, no, they're not beckoning the opposition right now because uh, Maduro has the, the, his finger on the oil and his finger on, on the trigger also because this oil money is spreading mm -hmm. into the military. So the military <clears throat> re received support from Maduro. This revolt uh, on Monday, it showed something interesting anyway. It was uh, that those militaries, after they gave up, they were dialoguing <clears throat> with higher ranks mm. and they were saying that their situation was bad. Venezuela is, is really suffering uh, from, from shortages and the military also. So that could be a key issue. But until today, the military is uh, supporting Nicolas Maduro. Who has his finger on the military and the oil. Good way of putting it. Uh, Eduardo Mendez from DW Latin America. America. Thanks so very much for being, coming in today.